But what do you think, huh? What do you think? Does it look pretty nice? It's looking there, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, your people are back. You want to say anything to them? Not a word. Cascade the Wonder Dog, and we still wonder what it is he does. At least I do. Anyhow, you know, it's always hard to figure out when you're in the middle of a project, where do you end part one, part two, part three, but we hit a perfect stopping point right now. Two of our, uh, two of the work exchange people, the woofers, again, www.oof.org, two of them, today is their last day, so that's a great place to stop. What we've got done so far behind me, and you can easily, you can see, got the door installed, got the uh, frame and the door installed. We're coming up on the, uh, on the front of the mechanical room. Got the wall real nicely. The wall's nearly done. We're maybe two, I don't, no more than three days from having that whole project finished except for the roof on. So it's a good stopping point right now. I do have to say that uh, uh, because of the, because masonry is just hard work and I'm getting, a, and, and I never thought I'd be an old guy, but being a baby boomer, I was always a little reluctant to have women come out here just because I thought it'd be a lot of work, a lot of heavy work. Turns out it wasn't. Not only is the work did they uh, did have the three of them done an excellent job, uh, but they've also matched matched my style, which is really hard when you're trying to match a style. But they've matched my style of setting the bricks and pointing the bricks to the point where you can't tell where somebody else is in there. They've put in long days, much longer than I asked for, and they've um, uh, just done an absolutely wonderful, wonderful job here. The wind's coming up, and. Um, I couldn't be happier, and what they've done is, at least with me, is they've paved the way for me. If, I, if, I, if another woman wants to come and do masonry, I won't, in the back of my mind, I won't have any questions about it, simply because of how hard they, these guys have worked and the quality of the work they did. Uh, and they were very respectful of our, of, of, of our property and the house and everything. So I was really happy with that. And we're going to have part three coming up uh, as we finish the rest of it. But right now, since it is their last day, I'm going to introduce you to the three, uh, to the three, my three helpers, the three wonderful helpers, and they're going to give you their, give you their op opinion of what they thought here. Go here, come on, guys, come on in. I'll be out of frame. So we have Brianna and Laura and Cameron have been the three that are helping, and. Um, do you guys think you uh, learned anything? Yeah, a little bit. Definitely. Yeah. Tell us about it, Brian. Yeah, I mean, I never thought I would ever get a chance to work with Model B3. Um, I learned a lot about living off of it. Uh, it's really been an eye opening and skill gaining experience to be here. So, Robert's been great, and Debbie, and all the chickens, and ducks, and Cascade. Yeah. Yeah, for somebody who never thought they'd work with masonry. It was a ton of fun, learned a lot, learned all about this whole house and the property. Um, had a blast, the two weeks flew by. Uh, I really enjoyed putting in a long day of hard work and, and actually seeing the wall progress and build up as we kept going along. So it was a really great project to work with and just to be able to say, yeah, I helped build that. Well, thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> By the way, the three of them these th we're, we're talking about saying, ah, oh, he's okay. <laughs> now, one thing about having these extra people here helping is the work goes super fast, which is great and wonderful. And Debbie and I really enjoy watching and teaching and just seeing the uh, seeing every one of our guests come along and, and, and feel empowered, because that's what we're doing. That's what we try to teach her is empowering you to take a good control of your life, to get away from thinking that the whole world is social media and lifelong debt, and, and empower them, and empower you to s grab a hold of life, live it, enjoy it, do the things that you want to do and have the skills to do it. So that's what we hope to teach here. But a problem with having the people and with working so fast is I don't have any more money this month than I did last month. And we went through all my building materials and all my money and I still got a week left in the month. So I haven't done this in a while, but those of you that, that have been watching what we're doing and like what we're doing and, would, and like the principle of what we're doing in trying to teach the young people of today and also help out the older people that want to learn this. If you like what we're doing and you have a few extra dollars laying around right now, 
right now, today, as I plan, uh, the day I put this up, which I think is January 24th, I have no money left for any Portland or any building materials that I've got still. Brianna is going to be staying here and I've got another, I've got two more people coming. I could certainly use a little help with buying Portland. We definitely positively need Portland cement and we need some two by sixes, but the Portland cement's a big thing. So any of you that feel like helping and like watching the videos and like seeing where we have been and where we're going, if you have the chance, if you have the ability, uh, every $10 buys us a bag of Portland, and a bag of Portland still is lasting us about a day, two-thirds of a day right now, but uh, we can use a few bags of Portland. So help me out if you can, and if you can't, hey, tune in and watch this place get built. It will get finished, and it's going to be finished within a year, within this year. With that, we're going to end this one. We'll come back with um, uh, part three of it, which will just be getting the roof on and this part finished. Part four will be... Um, Part four should be the plumbing, but uh, I reserve the right to change my mind about three and four. So until then, it's Robert Earl, Cascade the Wander Dog, Brianna, and Laura, and Cameron, and everybody I haven't mentioned. Did I mention Cascade the Wonder Dog? Yeah, out here at the Eco Ranch in far west Texas saying see you guys later.